Okay, now, Caitlin, next game I have to show you, it's not a game I bought, but it is a game, for some of these games, believe it or not, I did do research for. I did check to make sure that they were worth buying. This was one that it was, I believe, it was a $50 game. I didn't buy it, but I did look at some videos on it to see if it was like, you know, different enough to be worth playing. It was not, but it had a really weird moment in it that I think could only happen in this game. So this game that I'm about to show you something from, is uh, Hello Kitty Magic Apron. Essentially what it is, is it is a rhythm-based cooking game. Oh, I actually think I've heard of this game. Where the lyrics of the songs that they play as you're cooking are the recipes to the to the dishes you're making, sung in like Vocaloid or whatever. I don't know. I, I really feel like I know this game. So let's say, here, what's this one? Hamburger steak. I t I stop, pause the song, it won't pause. Oh my God. So what was that? Put in onions or whatever. So you see how it works, yeah. right? They sing, put the onions in with the, shut up. Tempura is the one I would need you to hear. Bit of a scary one to start. So it's just that <laughs> first pull the head off, tear away the skin. Leave no bone behind. Um, that, is a, that is a official line. Is it for a fish? No, it's for like a prawn. Okay. But I just find it very interesting that in an official Hello Kitty game somewhere, the line, first pull the head off, tear away the, the skin, skin, is an integral part to that game. Yeah, great. Hello Kitty, everyone. I'm sure there's many jokes from me about it. Hello Kitty is actually a cult. I think it's funny. Anyway, let's play an actual cooking game. Cooking Mama yeah! Cooking Mama Sweet 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 Sweat Sweet shop. shop. Cooking Mama Sweet Shop. Cooking Mama Sweet Shop. Help me out here. Cooking Mama Sweet Shop. Cooking, Cooking Mama, Mama Sweet, sweet shop. shop. I know. I know it says Sweet Shop. I know I just did all that training, but that being said, there is no proof that the, that sweet shop is also not a sweatshop. And a lot of a lot of people on Meverse also share that salmon. Also thought that they that it was Cooking Mama's sweatshop. Uh, of course, I'm above that. So instead, I found posts such as this one. Talk to me. Will anyone talk to me, please? I'm very lonely right now. So anyone, anybody, talk to me. Or uh, five points, Caton. You got. You can earn five whole points from this. If you answer correctly, which game, which popular game is Cooking Mama Sweet Shop a ripoff of? What game is it ripping off? It's a very popular game. You've you've played plenty of it. Back when we did the Let's Play, had that Let's Play channel, back when I had that, we played this game a lot on there. What is it? I don't remember any of the games we played except Minecraft. Ding, 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 ding. Minecraft it is. This game rip. Offed Minecraft. I, that was a tough this one. That is a ripped tough off read. Minecraft? That is a tough read. Yeah, this game ripped off Minecraft. So I'm excited to see how. I love me some Minecraft. And I forgot to buy it on the 3DS because that was a thing. So mm. we'll just have to stick with this, I suppose. Hopefully it'll fill the gaps in. <laughs> Hooray! Cooking Mama's here. How much did I pay for this game, by the way? I forgot. $30, actually. This was a $40 game. I was close. But it was on sale for 8 So you know yeah. I had to snap yeah. up. Snap up, Mama. Oh, my God. Look at all these. What do we want to make? Pear Charlotte. Oh, God. Okay. I'll go to the easier ones. Cream puffs. Yeah. Chocolate truffles. Caramel apple. Crepe. No, this still. I've yeah. this one still eludes me. Let's make it. Buche de Noel or whatever. You know this? No. Okay. We got a... We got a min I've never played Cooking Mama before. I'm just guessing this... how to pronounce it. Why? I want to do this. Stop telling... Okay. i got to chop the chocolate. Oh, my God. What? Chop it. Okay. I'm just tapping. Tap. I'm just tapping the knife. Tap my hand. I'm trying to- I want to injure myself, okay? This is the only way to get out of the sweatshop, is to physically be unable to work in the sweatshop. Well, it this is... looks like you're missing a thumb, honestly. I think it- I think I am, actually. There we go, that took forever. Do you have a pinky finger, though? No, that one's the one that got chopped off. How? Punishment. Wow, even better than Mama! Mama, I tapped the touch screen. Well, she can't do that very well, apparently. Make cream. 
What a fresh cream. Oh, we've already made it then. I don't see the issue here. Oh my god. We're chocolate cream. When did we melt the chocolate? Oh my god, it's too fast. It's so fast. I'm so sorry, Mama. Don't put me in the soup. Okay, I'm so sorry. It's going too fast, but I don't care. I want to get this done. I'm I'm ready to clock off already, and we haven't even made one dish. I don't think I did finish that. I think Mama just wanted me to stop, like, real bad. Probably, because you got, like, cream on her, like, three times. I'm surprised there was any cream in the bowl. Spread chocolate cream on the sponge cake. Don't roll the cake too fast. You have to spread it on there. What? Wiggle oh, it around. Okay, That's nice. Roll. Oh, God. <laughs> I just mashed it. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> Hooray, I did it, I guess. Very good. Then why are you here? Why are you here? You, I am. She's training you. I am the apprentice. Okay. Why? Why is my master better than I? Doesn't make sense. Spread the chocolate cream. I, I just do. I can undo this. On the I outside. Can do it. It's so easy. You gotta make it look like a log. Wow, looks so good. Tell me about um, dishes. This one I think is a Christmas. Wait, dish. where did the other? Shut up. Where did the other part come from? I don't know, Mama made that. It just appeared. Stop doing things without me, Mama, okay? I'm supposed to be helping you. Why but you look so sad? You're taking things from me. I want to make this log. And she won't let me make it. Sprinkle a lot. I'll sprinkle heaps. I'll snow. show you. You're putting snow on it. I'll sprinkle so much. Oh, my God. There you go, idiot. Why have you got the window open when you're doing this, Ma? This is actually, this is on her. This is not my fault, so I'm going to keep doing it. Why don't she... She was leaping at me. She leapt. Okay. Back off. She's trying to dodge the flying icing sugar. I will sue. That looks actually really rough. That looks worse than before. Yeah, look. You can put berries and cream and stuff on. What do I really, do I really want to do that? Put some berries, yeah. Yeah, look. You Holly? Holly? Isn't Holly, like, poisonous? Someone's got to take out Mama, and it's going to be me. It's going to be me. She cannot be running this operation. It's just, She's got a sweatshop, Caitlin. It's going to taste horrible if you don't put something on there to offset I'll the put taste. Some, I want it to taste horrible. Mmm, I wonder. How can we hide these hollies? A snowman. No. Hmm, lovely. Oh, wow, look at that. That's He's nice, hiding. actually. He's like, thumbs up. <laughs> what a delicious cake. Results. Results. I'm dead. Hooray, I get to photograph my dish. Stickers. Ah, now we'll hide the hollies. Wow, everyone, look at this delicious cake. Nothing suspicious about it whatsoever. I hope you'll be able to enjoy it when you come to Cooking Mama's swe Sweet Shop. Right at the door. There. Oh. <laughs> the trick is they'll look in through the window, they'll see it right at the back, and oh, that looks like a yummy cake. Is that holly all over it? Is that holly all, all over that delicious cake? Or is it lettuce? Exactly, they won't know. Make that gigantic cake, please. You want me to make a gigantic cake? Yes. Okay. Remove the stems. All right. What? Tap them. Okay, you want to leave the stems on, actually, because they provide a good source of fiber. It's actually really not that bad. If you take- Tap them! If you take the leaves off, you can just eat the strawberries with the stem, and it tastes actually fine. Oh, boy, I'm tired. This is so much work. I can't do it. I've let you down, Mama. It's too much pressure. There's a clock going. As strawberries... What is... Is she the one rolling these strawberries towards me? Tossing no, down the table? No, bouncing hands are Who's up. doing it? I mean, it's just such... It's so stressful. Do you understand this? No. All right. Cut the melon. Melon? I'm just doing it for fun, I think. There's no melon in this cake. I'm just doing it for fun. Chop. I like the chopping. That's fun. Chop. Oh, no. It's... Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. We're not going to get it done. Oh, we did it. What, what, what happened to the rest of the melon? Mama will eat it. Mama is into cryptocurrency, Kane. I'm fairly sure she's also into wasting food and disrupting the environment. No. Yes? Bananas now. She's just tossing out food for the sake of it. There's no banana in this cake. Is this my snack? Is this my lunch? Is this the lunch break portion of the game? What am I doing now? Sponge? Cutting top off of the cake. What? Making it a circle. Oh, I see. Okay, his one's really fast. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, nice. Very quick. This one's a slow one. So how was your day? Shh. The weather is nice. Shh. I'm getting there. It's happening. Careful. This is the last bit's the hardest part with circles. I was trying to go backwards, but she wouldn't let me. Last thing. Arrange the food. Make it pretty. Oh my god. Fine. Berries. Oh, and this melons. is when the melon goes on. Put stars on it. Fine. No, that's not a star. Where are stars? There. 
Done. Hi guys, welcome to my delicious cake. Um, as you can see here, if you look up the top, what a yummy cake. As you can see, I started trying to fill it in with yellow stars, but I got bored and gave up. Uh, also, the smiley face has hair. He's got nice hair and, you know... We put a bow under him. There we tie. go. Exactly what I was There saying. we go. This is a great cake. If there's one thing I learned from Cooking Mama about making delicious treats, is that you can't overdo it. You don't want to add too much decoration. Keep it subtle. And that's subtle if I ever saw it. All right, where's this go? At the front door. You see Starman when you walk in. Perfect. Yes, exactly. You run into it. <laughs> you run, literally walk into the store. You, the doors open and smash into the Starman table. If the Starman cake is still there and you smash into it, you're the first customer of the day. I have to stop playing this. Or you'll keep playing it. Uh, no, because I want to stop playing it. I'm not enjoying it. That's why I have to stop playing it. That being said, what pile? Good. Really? Okay, I mean, I'll do it. I actually, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not the audience for Cooking Mama, okay? So I can go in a good pile if you want. I don't even care, just do it. Just do it. I What's have on? done it, it's in there. What me verse post should we write about this? 30 minute court mandated lunch breaks. No. Oh, and severance pay, that's, and that will be nice too. But those are my demands, and either right, if you do not give me them to me, to them, if you, what? I quit. I will, I will sue. I'll sue you. For all the bitcoins you're worth. Sure, there we go. That's nice. I think that demanding Cooking Mama for more money is nice. That's nice, right? The cube. Wow. The cube. Wow, that's so scary, Ken. I love the cube. I love the cube. We've not played this one before at all, I promise. Not the other day where we had to redo it because it was not good. What's the cube, Kate? Tell me all about it. It's a game show. Hosted by who? Depends on where you watch it. Well then why? You need to really get into gear here, okay? Because if you don't even know who hosts the show, how can you call yourself a fan of the cube? Do you know? No, I don't. I'm not trying to pretend I'm a fan here. It's a game show where you're in a cube and you do things. That's basically it. And you get money. Um, of course, there's no money here, but I think there should still be a prize. What's the prize? I got, okay, you know, I got to be Kim Pong earlier, and that was, I'm not gonna lie, that was really cool. I think whoever wins the cube should get a cool name for the next game, or just whatever we want. So what's what cool name would you like? I don't know, I can't think of anything that's cube related. It doesn't have to be cube related, it's just a cool name. Okay, what about like, Dave Bell Pepper. Why? <laughs> I don't know, because you're not helping me, so I had to do it myself. Right, if you win, okay. I don't want to win then. You get to be called, no, well, best of seven. You have one attempt and no lifelines. Sure, that sounds great. I don't know what's happening. What is this? You gotta count how many times it's red. Oh, really? Yeah. That's easy. I can do that. I can count. Bell peppers are coming red, so this is no match. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, this is so... Di I'm done. I've, I'm out. I give up. I'm not counting anymore. I'm just going to put in a number. How many do you think it was? I'm not telling you. Fine. I think it was 30. Oh, I thought it actually... <laughs> I thought that was actually it. I really thought that was it. When it said 30 up there, I thought that was the actual answer. Oh, it's your turn. How many cubes do you think they could fit inside that cube? It depends how big the cube is. It's like one of those is. puzzles where it's like the, how many triangles are in this Legend of Zelda Triforce? Four. Four. Five. I'm just saying, if there was, if you could fit as many cubes as you want of as many sizes as you want, how many could they fit in that cube? I don't know. And here's the catch. The same answer for that is the same answer for the game you're about to play. So really to have a think about that. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, Stop! 16, 17, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. I didn't do this for you. <laughs> now I can't count them. I think it's 30. <laughs> what? Okay, you can keep me in this team, because so far, no win, so... So, I have a funny, um, theory about this, about this entire game show, and that is that this is like a Squid Game situation, where people are being forced to watch it. Not play it. <laughs> Just watch it. Do you- would you watch this show? I have watched this show. Did you enjoy it? It was alright. It was alright. You see in this? She was coerced. Make a downward swiping motion with your stylus on the touch screen. Throw the ball with enough power. Oh god, okay. Just yeah, try. it's another throw the ball. One. Last time we played this, we played cylinder. It was it was really weird. The swiping did not work. Okay, cool. That <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> Caitlin, you know what? I'll give you my go, because I don't want to swap the DS around again. You can just do it again, because frankly, I don't want to. Do you think I do? Yes, I think you do, because you're a fan of the cube. You said so yourself. You've seen it once, and that's all it takes. I didn't even see where the ball went that time. Did it hit the frame, I think, and then went <laughs> right. down onto the ground? Why make an upward movement? Didn't you have to make a downward movement for the last one? For all of the other board games. Make a bowel movement no. for the next one. <laughs> well, what type of movement is it going to be next? Cool. Oh my god, I won the cube. I won it. I won the whole show. Good luck. It's Cuban time. It, it's what? <laughs> Cuban time. It's Cuban time? Yep. Wow, that's so nice. That's very multicultural of you, Caitlin. No. <laughs> What's your favourite piece of the cube cult, the cube <laughs> What just happened? I looked away for one second. What did you do? It fell off the side at the end. Memory flash. Memory flash. You want this back now? Nah, you're right. You can have my team, I guess. <laughs> you can have a win. I'll get it somewhere else. I'll catch up. Okay, what's the puzzle? I have to count the cubes when they flash. God damn it. If this... I wish this game show would stop... Talking about cubes. Well, squares. I'm done with them. Oh, I see. So, squares. Oh, what? God. 8, 9, 10. I got about 12. I'm just saying. So, you can. Oh. Should have been 12 or 30. One of the two. I don't want to do this one. You can do it again. You can be back on your own team now. I don't want you on my team. You're terrible at this. You're terrible at the cube. I would have said 15. I don't know, you should have said 15 too. I was going to say 16, but then oh, I was like 17. You were still wrong, because it was 15. It'd be interesting to actually watch us back and see how many there, there really were, and it will probably be 30, but... Throw the disc by making an upwards motion with your stylus on the lower screen. Oh, it's a motion this time, I see. Okay. Well, this music. I love it. You did it. Congratulations. Okay, go. You, you're just playing anyway. I think you've realized I don't want it. I don't, I don't want, want to play it either. <laughs> Is it Come going? Come on! It's too attached to you. You spent a lot of time in the cube together. Oh my god. I got it! You actually got it. Alright, okay. The last game. It's down to the last game. We're on our own teams now. Wow, using upward motion. Upward motion? Well, they've switched to motion at least instead of uh, movements. I like that. That's good. Okay. Oh, you fell. Okay, here we go. This is it. What happens if I win? I'm still Kim Pong. How am I also going to be Dave Bell Pepper? Kim, Dave Bell, Pong Pepper. <laughs> Pong Pepper. Well, I think that should count because I still am just on the camera. At least you fell off off the camera. Oh, we got a tie break. What if we both lose the tie break as well? Press A when you think 10 seconds of has elapsed. Oh, team with the closest time wins. We'll get the exact same time. Watch it happen. I think this is a trick from the cube. I think the cube is trying to divide us. We've spent so long failing at the cube together. How? And now it wants us, one of us to just win. Like that? Does it know what is on the line? A new awesome new name. I think what we should do is mash A. No. Right at the start and get the try and get the exact same time. Why? I want to tie the tiebreaker. I want to confuse the cube. Fine. I want to break it. This was never meant to happen. It's happening. I don't know what, what? just happened. <laughs> I don't know agreed? what just happened. Should I do it again for you? Yeah, why not? I think that didn't work. <laughs> I'm gonna go out of limb, both numbers were different. I think it didn't work. Oh, I won. Hooray! Because <laughs> you took longer. Oh yeah, because it was the closest to 10 seconds. Yes. Oh, I forgot how the game works. Well, I guess I win the cube. Let's leave and never come back to the cube. Well, I won the cube. Caitlin, do you aware where I won the cube? Only because you did my you turn and I you won messed the, who, it up. Are you aware I won the cube? No. What am I? Not the cube winner. What am I? No. Who am I? No. Who am I? Who no. am I? <laughs> I'm Poggy Pepper. <laughs> no. It's a mix of Dim, Kim and Dave. Dim. What? Dim Pong Pepper. <laughs> that's my new name. Okay? And there's also the Miiverse post we're going to leave on this game. 
dim pong paper. I don't know. Have you got something better? Triangles. I don't know. Triangle? Yeah. <laughs> There's no triangles involved. Exactly. All right, triangle it is. This was a $3 game. Okay. Do we think that as both of us being huge, massive fans of the cube... That's very cheap. You know what? Sure. Cube it up. It's not a good game. It's been a bad pile, but I don't think it's necessarily a waste of money. Genuinely, I don't know if it was a good game. I didn't like it. Because I've not it. seen the cube. It's so bad. It? Uh, I think the cube is bad. It'd probably be better if you were there in the actual cube because I... you can use your arms. That's a fair point. You could use, essentially, uh, everything except for a 3DS stylus, which I feel like is the key to winning just anything. Yeah. Anyway, next game. Should we do a bit of a brainy game? Let's do a bit of a brainy game. Let's play Extreme Hangman 2. I'm not really sure why I bought this one. It just felt like it needed to be bought. Uh, this game was $3. And I'm gonna go on a limb and say this is the cool kind of hangman, you know, like the old timey ones with the trap doors, not the not that stupid word game. I don't wanna see any words here. Oh god, I already see four. Start game. I don't wanna do challenge mode, so we're gonna do I picked fruits and vegetables <laughs> accidentally. What? Oh god. Hearing all these awesome sound effects? Yeah, what is going on? I don't know, he's got bomb. Okay, what do we do? Do I guess A, I guess? No. Is he dead? Is it's two words? Um, I guess. Bear. Bear. No, that's got an A in it. Also, it's a fruit. I'm guessing a fruit, not a bear, bear fruit. not an animal. Bear fruit. Star fruit no, that's got an A. It what is bear fruit? I don't know, I just I don't I don't know if bear fruit's a thing. This is really terrible. Are we about Stop to lose? Stop and think about what it is. Oh we got one. Kiwi fruit. Oh my oh, god. Nice. Kiwi fruit. I'm a super genius. And he survived. Vegetable. We're doing vegetable again, I suppose. I thought I was going to a different menu. We're not. Why are there two songs at once? Two songs playing at once. What is going on? Tomato. Okay. No, no. wait, oh that's wrong. Oh my god, he's being drawn in there. It's fine, he's just ahead at the minute. He can't feel anything. E. E. Eat. Eat. It's eat. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, the T is B. Oh. Bears. Beef. Bears. It is bears. Beans. <laughs> it's beans. I thought it was bears again. Oh god. Movie this, characters. Let's do movie characters. I'm, I am I kind of am into this. This is... Oh, it's just Hangman. Alright, you tell me what... This is all you. Oh, I don't know. Just give me a letter. A. A. Why are there no A's? This is why oh. you... Don't, you go with the bears strategy, Caitlin. Bears. Look, you did Q instead of R. Did I? Oh, yes. I did. Whoops. Well, there we go. Jefferson. Actually, was Jefferson. <laughs> Jefferson Smith. It's not Jefferson Smith. Who is Jefferson Smith? <laughs> Rating nerdy girl. Get your phone, Google who Jefferson Smith is. Why is this in there? What? It's such an old movie. What is it? 1939. What's the movie? Mr. Smith goes to Washington. Speaking of Washington, let's do countries and capitals. Why did he go to Washington? We're not finishing this game until you find out why he went to Washington, okay? You go on that Wikipedia, you re read that plot synopsis, and you find out why. I'm going to IMDb. Alright, that won't show you anything. That won't do show A. you. A. Oh, God. Argentina. No. What is that? I've never heard of that. How no, am I I've professor? Why was my writing professor when I actually you just failed died? quickly. Apparently, he's a youth leader and he's appointed to fill a vacancy in the US Senate. Awesome. Love it. I'm going to go watch that movie right now. Uh, right after I guess who this. Uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner is. It's something I keep up with every single year. Is it no. a yearly thing? I don't know. I love keeping up with it. Anyway, let's guess. Ronald... Oh God, this is... The... I don't know the last names. How am I supposed to know the last names? Okay, well, there's one letter. There's one letter. That feels a bit cheesy. He's dead. That feels like they cheated me at the end there, putting the one letter for the last two. That's rude. So, Extreme Hangman, $3. What do we think? Fun little game. Yeah, it's fun. Fun little goofy game. I think for $3... It's just Hangman. It's just Hangman. It wasn't the cool kind of Hangman, but it was the word kind of Hangman. Didn't really like words at first. I've come around. Word's pretty cool. I like using them. What's your favourite word? Um, Bears. Oh, bears is... Or Ross. <laughs> I will bears, never forget Ross. Ronald Ross. What's our Miiverse post? This was a DSiWare game, but if we had to give a Miiverse post for it, what would we say? I guessed 10 words. In five minutes. I guess ten words in five minutes. That's not impressive at all, by the way, <laughs> now that I think about it. Here are, here are all of them. And then list words. Bears. Bears. Ross. Bear fruit. Bear claw. Bear claw. Ross. 
kiwi fruit. A teddy bear. And then just bear, however many leftover words there are. Yep. Just with one extra S on the end every single time. Bears. <laughs> yes, great. So, bears, I guess. Bears. You feel good about bears? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. What if I told you I had two games about bears? <laughs> do you actually? Yeah, what, what bear game do you want to play? Teddy, gummy, oh, gummy arctic bear. bear. What? What's your favourite kind of bear? I don't know. You cannot prolong the inevitable. Gummy bear or teddy bear? Fine, gummy bear. All right. So we're going to play gummy bears, uh, magical medallion. That's really awesome. How... They're like, what are they? Why have they... <laughs> Spin! Okay, Why what... have they got, like, chaos oh. emeralds? Um, I don't really know. I'm very out of breath, and I like how the microphone on this device sort of just stops working every now and then. Oh, it's working again. Great. Yeah, so I'm not going to explain this game. I, I saw Gummy Bears Magical Medallion in the eShop, and I mean, that was it. <laughs> that was as far as my thought process went for that. So I have some, I do have some little fact toys on this game, because I didn't get any Miiverse posts. Um, but according to the official store page for this game, uh, it features 13 achievements to unlock. That was an actual selling dot point this game had. 13. I don't know if that's a good number or not. It's the unlucky it's number, though. It's very small. So, so... Enjoy gaming. I don't think I will after this ends. I'm just... I'm not gonna lie. The hidden kingdom of gummy bears is a tantalizing colorful world made of yummy candy trees and overflow with mouth-watering sticky sweets, wobbly jellies, and tall canned sticks. Now, you do the last bit. Yum, yum. Yum. Oh, it's got... It's next. <laughs> it's on the next. Uh, and for as long as anyone can remember, <laughs> King Sourberry has searched for his gummy bear. No, his magic is kept the gummy bears hidden from the king and his army of crazy candies. King Sour Gummy finds found a gummy bear. No, you can't carry gummy bear. I'll be showing you bear traps for him. I set trap. Traps. You know there are traps designed for bears that we, they could he could use. I don't think. No, I think free. that would cut off their legs. They're that squishy. I don't really care. You know, let's just do the first level on this map screen. I just want to get away from the map screen because that was rough. All right, here we go. Wow. Oh, oh my god. There's an actual game here. Not a very good one, but it's here. It's just fine. I'm jumping. How do I get up there? I can double ladder. jump. What'd you say? Ladder. Ladder. Yes, you just went up. The I'm ladder. a gummy bear. I don't know how ladders work. What do you think the extent of like gummy bear knowledge is? How these guys are in their own kingdom, how cut off from the rest of the world do you think they are? Very. Do you think they do taxes? I mean, no. Do you think they have like politics? N uh, do you think they're aware of like Trump? No, they, they, I thought they had a, no, never mind, they don't have a king, that was the other one. But I feel like they probably have a king. Or are we talking, is this like a communist kind no, of situation? No, no, it's not communist. So what kind of political structure would you say oh, that this world well, of they Gummy have has? a king. No, they didn't. No, well, I would think they would, but, you yeah. know. Well, we didn't see the king. Fine, if it makes you have the communist gummy bears. Yeah, I'm just saying, what have I got to do now? I've got to... I'm just saying, if gummy bear kingdom is anything like America, every single conversation they have has... Oh, I died. What? <laughs> <laughs> I did see that thing, and I was like, what is that? But I didn't think that you would run into it. All right, let's try again. Do you think they're aware of, like, electricity and stuff? Do they no. have electricity, or are they, like... They have oh magic. God. What kind of magic? Dark Gummy magic? bear magic. Gummy bear magic? I'm sensing a trend here that every- Oh, I fell. God damn it. I just want to gum. What? <laughs> gum? Well, I'm just going down. Why do I, I could have fallen down. Oh, god damn it. So this music reminds me of something I don't know what, and it feels like it should be like a bad Wii game. Well, it feels like it should be a bad game in general. Whether it's the Wii or not doesn't concern <sighs> me whatsoever. I think that it's worrying that I want to play more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it sort of looks a little bit fun. Yeah, go, you can play a level. Play a level of Gummy Bears Magical Medallion. As you're doing it, I'll continue quizzing you about the ethics and uh, complications within this kingdom. So the Gummy Bears must have, like, a class system. You're aware of this, right? Yeah. Because they have houses. Okay, we have infrastructure. That so they means have worker Gummy Bears. They have worker class. Do they? So they must have, like, an upper class, or unless they're all workers. Do you think they're all workers? Or do you think... Or What do you think? What's your opinion? How do they get paid? You think it's shared, or you think... Well, they could be paid in the knowledge that they're doing something to help the gummy bear race. That might be what I'm thinking is that they're all working equally. What What's your opinions on that matter? I got an orange. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool of you. Maybe they get painted oranges. The bears, like, bears love oranges, right? Where am I supposed to be going? I don't know. Just go somewhere. Wow. That's cool design. Cool. What? Are we not just looping? Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, the level design in this game is daring. I'll give it that. I'm daring is the word here. I would use. Is this the end of the level? Oh, no, we need to... You want to play matching game? I play cards to open the door. 
Awesome. Do we think that the gummy bears, whenever they need to make some sort of technology, such as a lock on a door, it's just puzzles? Does that mean that whenever you need to take money, gummy money out of the gummy bank, you have to solve a puzzle before you can do yes. that, for instance? Whenever you want to check your checkings account, solve don't, no password, solve a puzzle. I believe that this creates some immense security risks in the gummy bear kingdom, you know? Orange. Yeah, that's really nice. Orange isn't all, but I feel like what I'm talking about is quite important too. The orange bank. This is why we can't have money. The puzzles instead of passwords is a great idea, but it doesn't work if, if what you have is just... if. If you have money, because eventually it's going to be a matter of time before some gummy bear evolves their gummy brain enough to think I can hack in big quotation marks. Because it's not hacking, hack into my gummy, gummy rich cousin's account. I was going to say gummy sister. <laughs> gummy sister's account and have a gummy revolution. I like how you're sliding around on that. They really got the physics right. Ah! All right. Oh God. Do you think the gummy what bears? What is this gummy bear wipeout? So what is this? Why are the gummy bears on these total wipeout bumpers here? Was this designed as a trap for other gummy bears? Are we going to some sort of gummy government state where they don't want us there to see what's really going on in the world? Do gummy bears like swimming? No, they die. Who are we playing as? Pink. <laughs> Pink is dead. I press the button. Pink's dead, it doesn't matter. Has the music changed? Yes. It, it's like a march kind of music. Do you think this is the music that plays whenever they go on like one of their political marches in Gummy Kingdom? All right, cool. Well, Gummy Bears. We did it. Hooray! That was fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was fun. I really feel like we got to the bottom of Gummy Bear Kingdom, got to the bottom of Gummy Bear social structure, e ethical complication issues based on their political standpoints. I really enjoyed that. It was, yeah, it was a $6 game. Uh, worth it? More fun than the cube. <laughs> That's the fair point. Good pile or bad pile? Bad pile it is. All right. Oh. What? <laughs> gummy bears, though. You want to do a middle pile? Yes, please. For, specifically for gummy bears yes. magically going. You are absurd, but I'll. it's fine. It'll work. I think our post has to be about the structure. I think it has to be... Vote for me, and then pink. Vote for me, pink. <laughs> yep. Anyway, that'll do. Next game. So yes, this is Teddy Together Demo. This is not a, a Big Ben game. We've got more Big Ben games, but this is not one of them. I'm sure you're very happy to hear that. So we are stuck with the demo, but I feel like I'm going to be content with that just a little bit. Yeah. There is one Meverse post on this game. Most of them, a lot of the Meverse posts I could find was this one person who was playing the game and, and like documenting their life with their teddy yeah. bear. Don't care for that though. So instead I found one that just says Meverse. So let's see. Oh dear. I'm scared. Why? I don't know, it feels scary. Did we got like build a bear or something? Yeah, maybe. So is that teddy bear is it alive? I think it's sentient, yeah. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, that's cute. It's freaky that it's not sentient now. This teddy bear is a present made especially for you. It's a very rare talking teddy bear. Okay, so we got like uh, what's the ones you put the tapes in the back of? Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin. We've got, Those are a, awful, though. Well, from the little I know about this game, I feel like that comparison is, is a little more apt than you might think. So let's just get into the game first, and then you can start talking about how awful Teddy Ruxpin is. First, you should think of a name. Oh, we should think of a name. Gurp. I thought you were going to call him, like, Gunther or something. <laughs> Sorry? Gunther? Gump. I thought you no, said Gumpfoot. No, no. All right, that's his new name, Gumpfoot. <laughs> oh, no, he's getting up. Oh, God. Oh, look at it, it's cute. Hello. Oh God, he's getting towards me. Thank God I don't have 3D on right now. That'd be rough. <laughs> oh! Tomodachi life, oh, is no. that you? Sorry, Teddy Ruxpin. That's normal. Oh, I get a, a, a have a lolly. Yeah, what's a lollipop? Have the lolly. Why am I doing... Oh, I can tease him with it. I want it. I want it. You're not getting it. Give it. Give it. Oh, okay. I was going to say, he's not even putting any effort to get it. He just stares at it. What if I was a rude, horrible owner, which I am? What? Tasties. <laughs> Grumpers. Grumpers. I don't know what a grump is. What shall I call you? It could be anything. Just uh, do stinky, please, because then we're like, hey, stinky. Stinky idiot. <laughs> stinky idiot is my name. Stinky idiot. That's horrible of you. You stupid. I hate you. You stupid bear. Don't be rude. I'm going to punt him across the he room. He says stinky is a lovely name. Are you stinky? Okay. I am stinky, but that, there was no need to point that out. Stinky. Stinky. 
Stop it! Stop! Stop calling it's me stinky! It's like saying stinky. Okay, great. So we get to do stuff now. Let's go to the kitchen. Normally you can't feed your bears if it's not hungry. I don't care. I'll do it. I don't really care about the well-being of my bear. I didn't care about the well-being of living actual animals. Why would I care about a stuffed toy? Ew, what are you doing? Stop. Just cut it properly. That is some of the worst cut toast I've ever seen. God, stop. I don't... I'm just gonna eat... Did I already take a bit? What just happened? Oh. You have to feed it, Dom. Om nom nom. <laughs> om nom nom. Om nom nom. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, God. You are needy. Your hands are too small. What am I doing in my life in this game? Is this... Do I have, like, a profession or something? Or is this my life now? Look, caring for this bear that I can't even it's, do. It's uh, just, like... In like a week, he once probably it follows you around. Saps all of my savings. No, it's cute. On toast. It's like a friend that lives at your house. I don't want that, okay? It sounds cute. I don't want friends to live at my house. I want to live on my own because that way I don't have. I get a break. This is the only time I get a break is when I go home. But now I don't get ah, that pancakes. because I have to deal with Gumpfit. Pancakes. I'm not cooking pancakes for him. I'm not going to talk to you if you talk to me like that. Wow. Wow. This game is not even a little progressive. Wait. What? I'm a stuffed toy, so I'm not a boy or a girl. Oh, maybe it is progressive. Mate, I spoke too soon. My bad. I'm sorry. Who's the person you often talk to, Stinky? I know. I'll trick him. Ben Affleck. I often talk to Ben Affleck. <laughs> Look, if I can't do anything else with this bear, I at least want to, like, trick him into thinking that I'm way cooler than I am. <gasps> Wardrobe. Oh, we should dress him up? Sure, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Look, I just did that for you. Yeah, it wants to show you. I know. I just, I saw it as it was happening. I saw it, it wants unfold. wants to show it off. Oh my God. Why are you so needlessly rude and mean? I just don't care about him. Okay, what else? Should we go outside? Yeah. Let's go outside now that we've got He's got clothes. a hat on, so he's ready. We're outside. Oh, we can't do it in this version? Go then? out. <laughs> <laughs> what if this was how we spoke? I think it'd be a nice change of pace if we just started speaking like that for a while. Let's give him a bath then. Seeing as we've been bathing uh, so many other animals today. If he is like a Teddy Ruxpin, isn't this going to like totally mess him up? He's very dirty. How did he get so dirty? He just came out of the box. He got toast on him. He got, he got toast on him. <laughs> this is all from the toast. And this is why I don't want to feed him anymore. I've got a itchy tail today. That was, that is, I don't care. You scratch it then. I don't care for you telling me that. You better have to dry him off to... Never mind. Wow. Yeah, don't drive. Aww, he's going to go drip all over the house now. Unbelievable. Yeah, why not? And he's like a fuzzy bear, so he's going to hold more water. If you don't give him a bath, he'll stop asking you questions. Well, maybe I want that. I was, I was going to type hell, but... <laughs> yeah, you know, so I wake up, get out of bed, I'm in hell. <laughs> Immediately. Go to work with Ben Affleck. Yep. <laughs> I can't tell you that. I'm so sorry. I'm not Aww. liable. We're working on a new movie. I might. I might. What is this? Where are we going? You're a dangerous man. Yeah. Don't cross me. Call, me. call me stinky one more time. See what happens. A friend in need is a friend indeed. What does that mean? That's a stupid saying. He's a friend telling in need. you. A friend in need is a friend I don't want to have. Too much work. <laughs> does he want to ask me? Okay, this is your last question. Make it a damn good one. That doesn't, those words mean nothing. All you care about is food and toast and grumpets or whatever it was. I feel happy when I'm not here. I saw knit here. Knit here. So I thought you were going to say. It sounds fun. I want to try it too. <laughs> you really should. Please no. go anywhere else. Who gave me this bear, by the way? It just appeared in, the, in my house, not even at my door. It just dropped into my house. He's magic. Because my life is completely uprooted by this strange oh, bear. Oh, he's cute. I don't care. I have to feed it. I have to care for it. I have to take it to the garden. It's a pet. I it's like a it. pet. I didn't want a pet. I didn't want Do a bear. Do you not know what a pet I is? I hate my pets, Caitlin. Do we establish this? <laughs> I hate this one too. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Check it out. On account of frivolous spending, what's his... I forget his name. What's his name? Gumfoot. Gumfoot is a sheep now. I don't know if that is better or worse. Anyway, answer one more question. What does he want? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. <laughs> yeah, please sing a song about grumpets. This is just what I wanted. Grumpets, 
I wish you were better at speaking out of regular volume, but. Was it a good song? Or was it not very good? Don't give oh, me the option. No, tell him it was very good. I'll tell him there, okay? We'll compromise. It could be better. It could. You could sing in tune, uh, out of volume, I can hear you, to music. It could be better in many ways, but Caitlin wouldn't let me, you know, give you my proper opinion, so Grandpa we're a little bit. So okay, I'm going to be honest with you, Strange Bear, that I once again forget the name of. Grumpf I Gumfit, sorry. Gumfit. I don't know what grumpets are. I told They're you that as a pops. joke. I like... Ploplets. I like ploplets. I'm going to keep gaslighting this bear until the day I die. It, it is the food of dreams. He got that right. I, Plot, I None of this is of real. Dreams. Okay, well, that was Teddy Together Demo. What would you think? That's so cute. There's a $50 game. I'm going to say, it's. Oh, I, I, I don't really like games like that, but you know what? For what it is, I think it does the job. Very you cute. Know, I think it's at least better than those stupid Big Ben games that are just oh, those are awful. Nintendogs. At least this one tries, you know. I like how the bear asks you questions. I like how it tries to learn about you. I don't appreciate the lore implications. I feel like the, the person, my character in the game, is going to have a very tough time for the rest of their life now with this alien creature. But, you know what? Pretty pretty alright for what it is. Good pile, bad pile. Good pile it is, <laughs> I guess, you. even though it wasn't really for me. What me first post are we writing? Let's write a diary. Um, dear diary, today I fed my grumpet. No, many grumpet is food. I fed my grumpet so many grumpsicles and ploplets. Then we went to the shoop de doo What? And bought 18 slimber bobs. <laughs> <laughs> then we went home, slip slop. Slap. Slap. Slip slop slap. Pat on the back. Next game.